And back to our top story, the third and final presidential debate just wrapped up about 20 minutes ago. And while it did get heated at times, above all else, the top two candidates got talking about the issues. Andrew Spencer reports. As Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump took the stage, they did not so much as step toward each other, let alone shake hands. They went right to their podiums and they went right to work, talking about the open seat on the U.S. Supreme Court. We need a Supreme Court that will stand up on behalf of women's rights, on behalf of the rights of the LGBT community, that will stand up and say no to Citizens United. The justices that I'm going to appoint will be pro-life. They will have a conservative bent. Uh, they will be protecting the Second Amendment. Which prompted a discussion on guns. Because I support the Second Amendment doesn't mean that I want people who shouldn't have guns to be able to threaten you, kill you or members of your family. In Chicago, which has the toughest gun laws in the United States, probably you could say by far, they have more gun violence than any other city. On abortion. Do you want to see the court overturn Roe Well, if we put another two or perhaps three justices on, that's really what's going to be, ha that will happen. So many states are putting very stringent regulations on women that block them from exercising that choice. And the so first signs of the conversation getting heated between the two candidates. They sparred on the wall. When it comes to the wall that Donald talks about building, he went to Mexico, he had a meeting with the Mexican president, didn't even raise it, he choked. Once the border is secured, at a later date, we'll make a determination as to the rest. But we have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. And on national security. Putin, oh, but, 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 from everything I see, has no respect for this person. Well, that's because he'd rather have a puppet as president of no the United puppet, States. No puppet, no puppet. It's pretty clear. You're the puppet. It's pretty clear you won't admit no, that the, the Russians have engaged. I'm Andrew Spencer involved, reporting. It was a well-crafted. Alrighty, so there you go. Joined now by Dr. John Hart from HPU, professor there and political analyst. Yes, it got heated, but initially Chris Wallace, the moderator, and a lot of focus on the moderators, went right to it. Supreme Court, abortion, immigration, wanted to get it policy-driven initially. Absolutely. I think this was the best of the three debates. It was the best moderated of the three debates. And I still am having trouble with the format. Uh, too much open time, and you can see the candidates challenging each other, and the moderator for time hurts the quality of the debate. All right. So 25 minutes or so into it, finally he got into the issue, issue of WikiLeaks, which has been hurting Hillary Clinton. Not a lot of talk about the sexual assault accusations against Donald Trump, which he again denied. That's when things started to warm up. Absolutely. And Clinton fails to answer several of the WikiLeaks argument. Trump could have done a better job of following up. But still, he gets better in each debate, probably his best of the three debates tonight. Okay, so let me ask you this. Coming into the debate, Hillary Clinton with a relatively sizable lead, depending on the poll. She either needed, according to the pundits, either a total collapse or he needed to hit it out of the park grand slam. Did either of those two things happen? Absolutely not. I think you can make a case, despite Trump's misstatement on, you know, not wanting to support the election, perhaps, that he won the debate on points. Is that enough to overcome a very sizable Clinton lead in the Electoral College? Probably not. One final question. A lot of the rhetoric out of the Trump campaign recently has been about the election is rigged, it's fixed, against his own running mate, Mike Pence, and against his own daughter, Ivanka, who spoke out yesterday or this morning in California. He's going to take a wait and see. He's not saying that he will accept the results. Absolutely. Probably his weakest moment in the debate. And if the debate gets framed this way, if these are the headlines, it will hurt him. If we talk about the rest of the debate, he does an excellent job. So we're going to see a debate over the frame of this debate. The debate over the debate. We will be talking about that over the next several days. Dr. John Hart, HPU, thank you very much. We'll see you on general election night. And a reminder to you, early walk-in voting for the general election begins Tuesday. It runs until Saturday, November the 5th. You can register to vote at the polling site if you haven't already done so. For more information, visit our website, khon2.com, and get out there on November the 8th.